When adding and subtracting decimals, it's easiest to keep track of what we're doing by thinking in terms of place values. Remember when we added whole numbers, we had to line up the corresponding places. For example, to add 215 plus 72, we'll line up the tens place and line up the ones place and even line up the invisible zero in the hundreds place. And then we'll just add down the columns, seven, eight, two. We do the same thing when we add decimals. So for example, if we want to add 7.43 plus 0 0.128, well, we'll line up the ones line up the tenths, the hundredths, and the thousandths. So seven ones, four tenths, three hundredths, plus zero ones, one tenth, two hundredths, and eight thousandths. And just like we did before, we can write in the zero thousandths in our first number to help us keep track. And then we add down the columns. And just as with the whole numbers, tens plus tens was tens, hundreds plus hundreds is hundreds. With the decimals, tenths plus tenths is tenths hundredths plus hundredths is hundredths, and so on. We can use the decimal point as our point of reference. We can think of this as lining up the decimal points in an addition problem or a subtraction problem. Now something a little bit complicated happens in subtraction. It's important not to forget about the invisible zeros when we do subtraction. Here's why. Let's say we wanted to subtract 5 minus 3.15. Right, let's apply our intuition first and think this is like I'm paying with a $5 bill for a bill that's $3.15. And I'm asking, what change do I get? Of course, when you're making change, Right, you count off a dime and then some quarters and then a dollar bill. But I know for sure, right, my bill is more than three dollars, so my change is less than two dollars. Let's see what happens when we actually write out the subtraction now. I line up the ones place and then tenths and hundredths places. Right. It's not visible, but I could write in the decimal point at the end of five. Right. When I go to do the subtraction, how can I do it? Well, I need to remember to write in my invisible zeros. Now, other than the decimal point, it looks like 500 minus 315. I know what I have to do. I want to borrow from the tens place, but I don't have any tens. So I have to borrow from the hundreds place. Now I have some tens. I can borrow one of them. And now I have something in the ones place. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8, 4 minus 3 is 1. So 5 minus 3.15 is 1.85. Right, my change is $1.85.